Uh, Not a good look. I'm fucking starving. Thank you. And the food just, the food literally, as we're coming back on the air, the food just got put down. Jim is turning into Joe Pesci. I'm going to slip him a Snickers. I'm just really hungry. And like, you know, usually you eat around nine. And this fucking place, whatever their delivery service is, stinks. Anthony, they I suck. Want, Anthony, you got to take this on yourself. Yeah, I right? blame myself and everything. We we'll just go somewhere else. That's all. Like, like, or or just go down there. Or I'll pay for somewhere. I don't care. I'll spend the money. It's, I don't. I don't need them to expense it. I'll pay it. I just want to eat at nine o'clock. Cause like you get up at seven and then two tech, hours in. Tech my order. Even if Jim's paying for it, tech my order on with Jim's. You got it. Okay. Yeah, fucking fucking. You just starving. have a side anyway. You're not eating food. You just have a side. Just a little turkey bacon. Just a little protein to. Keep you don't the, have eggs. No, I don't eat eggs. Turkey bacon rules too, man. It's what? good. Oh, it's you know so what you do? You put it on some toast. You throw some tomato and lettuce on there. You got a full meal. You know, huh, you tomato and lettuce, huh? Yeah. Yeah. No, I just, uh, I just want a little bit of protein to keep, uh, to keep the wheels in motion, and that's all. I haven't that's had a BLT in, in so long. They're mm. the best. They're the best of all sandwiches. A little mayo. What about a turkey club though? You just had turkey, and you got an, even a little something more. You know, I guess I never thought of yeah. it that way. What's your favorite food of like, all time? Yeah, it's a great question. So what you're saying is uh, that death row food. You know, this is something that the that chefs talk about all the time. What would you have on death row? I'm sure it's something that my mom made for me. You know what I mean? You think so? Like I would go back to a comfort food that she had made. Like what? Maybe fried chicken, mashed yeah. potatoes. Goulash. Yeah. But my, yes. We're from Russia. So that was always, you know, back then. But isn't it funny what people consider comfort food is, like like people from China, if they get nervous, they have rice and vegetables. Like, I had a bad day today. I'm going to have rice and vegetables. That would be a nightmare for us. Yeah. You know, we want something normally like Italian, something big and carby and thick. But- I think it would be along those lines. I don't think it would it'd be from a restaurant. I feel like my my mom cooked all the time. She's a very yeah. good cook. She was a stay-at-home mom. You know, your dad made enough money where you didn't have to force her to leave the child alone. That's right. 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 Well, we could take out a couple loans or something. But, um, yeah, I would probably get a, a shit ton of food from Taco Bell. Really? A whole bunch of chalupas with no sour cream. And a whole bunch of quesadillas with no sauce. You don't want real Mexican food? You'd mm-hmm. rather go to Taco Bell. Much rather Taco Bell. Why no Bell. sauce? Yeah. I don't like the sauce. Oh. Yeah. You put a little sauce on there, it gives you a kick, though. Let Is me that just, right? Let me just put a little <laughs> sauce on yours. You ever had somebody do that? Like, just let me let me just put this on there. You're going to love it. Just hot try sauce. it. It's just really try hot. It. Yeah. It's really fucking hot. Why would I want to eat something that was so hot it was uncomfortable for my mouth? Yeah, yeah it burned everything. Yeah. It burns burn your, your mouth and you're used to eating it, so why would I want to eat it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, what would your what would your death row meal be? I don't know. Fried chicken sounds good. I, pizza, I, but the pizza they'd give you probably shit. No, you get your any pizza you want. Like my favorite little spot, Sparrow's, right down the road. Man, that's nice. Yeah. That's really the. I old mean, stuff. my perfect death row meal, and this would be just probably three lines of coke and a little <laughs> bit of fucking heroin, just to take the edge okay. off, just enough to give you that. <laughs> right. You know, uh-huh. you don't want to nod out. You know what I mean? So not too much heroin, but a nice speedball, the kind Belushi did. And maybe OD before you even get down the fucking hall. Just you know, you, one last fuck you. Yeah. My term. You don't yeah. want coke, though. The last thing you need is to be jittery and wide awake for that shit. You'd rather yeah. be tired and go, But like, I, right. I want some coke and a, and a fucking phone just to call some people I haven't talked to in a while. <laughs> 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 yeah, that they, they say that, that um, lethal injection, like, you may or may not, like, you, it suffocates yeah. you. But, like, what if you know it's happening? Right, they don't. I mean, how can they know for sure it doesn't hurt if everybody's dead that it's ever happened to? Here's what they ought to do to kill you. And I really, this sounds barbaric, but it's fair. Put your head on a piece of metal and have a giant metal press slam down on it, and in a nanosecond, you're dead. Why don't they just shoot you? Why would they go to that? that because that's faster and instant. To shoot you in the head. You know, so like when they crush you a car. You have your, your head crushed? <laughs> no, but if I was either that, I'd be suffocated. Yeah. Close your eyes. No, don't just g- dunk. I can't even think of something. Oh, it's, 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 yeah, exactly. <sighs> what would your death row... What, so after you have your Coke and heroin <laughs> yeah. for your last meal, how are you going out? Uh, for me, if they gave you the choice, I'd say cut off my cock and balls and let me just bleed out. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, because you're a fucking champion. <laughs> I mean, I, I like kicking around and screaming yeah. afterwards. Yeah, well, you're a you fucking what, man. You know what they, we could do to Jimmy? I mean, if I was running the jail, it was Jimmy's death row. I just have Anthony order food, and eventually he'll starve to death. <laughs> Anthony, come on, dude. You're fucking representing, okay? What happened, I don't Anthony? need you as a fucking failure. Um. I do. I do go for this crushing the head thing. You like that? Yes. Because I've never heard of it before. It doesn't There's make never any been sense a country no. that's crushed the head. No. And it's fast. Yeah. But what's wrong with just sh a, a, like shooting a gun? What's wrong with just either using a shotgun to blow somebody's head it off? It may miss. It may miss. And even decapitation. I've seen video, and I saw it recently, of a guy whose head got cut off. Right. And they held the head up, and it looked up at the person. I've heard about that. You do survive it. I've yeah. seen it. Like again, it's it's very fast, but you can see the eye. It's chilling when you see the eyes look up. Because like, you got that one split second of like they say thirty seconds. No yeah. way. I've heard thirty seconds, and I even, I even heard one guy was talking about like telling a story about a medical examiner. I guess it was an old tale recounted, or rec but, but the uh, the guy's head got cut off in a guillotine, and he said the guy grimaced when they touched the spinal column of the head. Oh. Like he grimaced in pain. Like my neck hurts. Yeah. And a cop told a story about his friend's head getting cut off in the accident, and he said he could see the expression on his friend's face change from, like, horror to pain or something, you know. Or just finally, like, just letting go. Yeah. Are you cla you're claustrophobic? Uh, yeah, I don't. You don't like it? You don't mind elevators, though. No, no, no. But I'm, I, I, I wouldn't want to be, like, buried in is, is being buried alive your greatest fear? Yeah, I would say, yeah. yeah Did you upset. see that Ryan Reynolds movie? Dude, I'm not watching that. I, I mean, Dude, it's I, so bad. It's as he, bad as you think it is. Is what I don't watch movies like that, and I don't watch movies where anything bad happens to a kid. Right. And, and to be honest, even their dog. I don't like when a dog like gets that. fucking killed. But any of these things of, Dave, we've captured your child, and you got twenty foot. No, fuck you. You never seen Taken? No. This is oh, wow. dude, Taken. Just is tell me shit. this: Do they get the kid back? They do. Okay. They do. Maybe I'll watch the end of it. Well, I'm not watching the early part though. But he's got a certain set of skills. Hmm. You got to see all his skills. Don't, does, yeah. don't ruin it for me now, yeah. man. You already told me you got yes. the kid back. I can dye my yeah. hair with, with jet black tire paint. <laughs> <laughs> you know who I think is the best, um, the, uh, all the death penalties? Those Muslims where you just throw enough rocks at someone that they die. <laughs> He's like you know, stoning. He is like this 200th <laughs> fucking rock finally killed. Like I've been hit with a rock before. It hurts. But I didn't think I could die from this. Yeah, nowhere near death. Yeah. What oh, about yeah. just beast things? Well, they throw you off a roof. That's a big one, too. To gaze. Right well, off the roof. I had seen this other documentary when people jumped off of the uh, Golden Gate Bridge. The, gate, and they the, said the that, bridge, yeah. Yeah. And they all said on the way down, fuck, what did I do? The survivors. Mm -hmm. The survivors said that they regretted it on the way down. I go, now you're regretting? Yeah. That's what I think that was that uh, uh, that bridge documentary. The, yeah. the bridge, I'm sorry. Yeah. The, Sanford, the Golden Gate Bridge thing. Yeah. yeah. Now, the Chester Bennington way that he went out the other day with a belt. Right. It's weird how you just hear something like that, and it kind of puts it in the fucking zeitgeist, where people are like, yeah, who knows who's going to end up killing himself? I don't think he probably ever thought when he was younger, oh, I'll probably end up killing myself one day. Where do you get to that point? Who knows? Well, he might have been a lifelong depress uh, depressed person. Yeah. You know, like, he probably struggled with it for a long time. He had probably gone, and I've said this about Chris Cornell, he'd probably gone through that scenario so many times. Just he'd, thinking about it? And starting it. He'd probably put it around his neck a hundred times and never just done it. He had probably felt the, uh, what the pressure would feel like. He had probably held the belt up just to see how does this feel to be choked. Guaranteed that he did not, that was not his first time. But why I don't you just start? There's some conspiracy theories now going on that in the he internet. he was killed? Yeah, because... Um, Who's killing the guy from Lincoln Park? Can I well, piece of bacon? There's yeah, uh, you may. They're saying if you read this here, and it's it's there's some weird stuff because uh, Chester was Chris Cornell's uh, godfather to one of his kids, and then um, he, uh, Chester died on Chris Cornell's birthday. So they're saying that there's some weird ties going on. So what does that have to do with conspiracy? That was though? his final piece of uh, depression. If you read the the article here, I've seen this a couple times on the internet that they were covering up a pedophile ring. Everything is pedophile. I'm sick of pedophile rings. Conspiracy Jesus Christ. Theorists. It's always that pedophile thing. Yeah, it's always that big pedophile ring. Just delete. What about becoming a... <laughs> just delete. <laughs> <laughs> what about just becoming... A... Why, why don't you just do drugs until you die? You know what I mean? Just... That's the way rock stars used to do yes. it, right? Yes, do drugs, do drugs, do drugs, and then die. But then you had Robin Williams, who did like a ton of drugs in the 80s, and then he didn't die, and then he used the belt at the end. Yeah.
You That's know? weird. That's three celebrities now who belted it out. Not even a fucking gun to the head. Well, I think uh, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if the Chris Cornell thing was implanted in the Chester's head. And so maybe he was like, maybe even after Chris Cornell did it, that's when he started doing what you said, Jim, where he's like, let me see. Oh, that's how he did it. Let me see what this feels like. You don't need Let me see what this feels like. You, you, that's something you think of on your own. It's not even if it's the same as your as oh your my, body. Yeah, yeah, of course. A belt around the neck. That's fucking, fucking kill yourself one on one. Oh, that's not that's not a new thought. A tie a belt. Yeah, uh, when I was uh, a kid, like ninth or tenth grade, a kid in my school hung themselves like from a fucking tire swing. Like they went, like uh, this place in the woods where everybody used to go and swing up this thing. He had fucking cut it, new stop and died. There was like. I go to the funeral, what was the wake? There had to be like 800 fucking kids all lined up. And I met, I got a little jealous. I'm like... Because of all the attention. Yeah, I mean, like, look at all the attention he's wow. getting. I wonder how many people would have, you know... Like, maybe there's a scenario where you can fake something. No. So you can get that many No, I'd people. rather just be laying there, having girls crying over me, like we're crying for him over his dead body. I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. This is really making things happen. But then I didn't want everybody to think I was ripping them off at the time. That probably know? would. I mean, they, they, they go, oh, we know what this like, is. Remember when uh, when Patrice died and you got all that attention? Mm -hmm. And everybody started thinking, I wonder how many... I wonder if Rolling Stone would pick it up if I died. You right. know what I mean? Yeah, all of a sudden, you know, all those publications decided Patrice was... Finally decided yeah, he was Patrice was one great. of the greatest. Yeah. Right? Nobody had mentioned it before, but... Makes you want to kind of just make sure that you have leaving some stuff like here. Take a listen to this after I die. Then right. you're really going to get a like big Tupac kick out stuff. of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you're yeah. going to get a kick out yeah. of it. There's a lot right. of good stuff. Unreleased there. stuff. Yeah, a lot of unreleased stuff. You should do shows. Yeah, and just, just in leave case, it like every time. My death show. Yeah, do it. Do a show after your show and just record it and just have a whole bunch of shows. That way, your radio show could just continue on. Or if you committed suicide. Yeah. And you're fucking taping it. Everybody's going to watch it. And, you oh, know, yeah. you just do, you know, some really funny stuff for the first hour, <laughs> hour and a half, and then boom, <laughs> you're, you're done. Right, right. That's a great idea, especially with podcasts. You do a whole bunch yeah. in advance if you know you're going to die. Just yeah. instead of taping one, tape three. What would be great is, you like, if the three of us were doing one at a time, we die. You know what I mean? So it's like, okay, I got to go now, guys. And boom, I shoot myself in the head. You guys mm -hmm. fucking go, I didn't see that coming. Right. You're laughing, you're fucking around. Everyone's thinking, <laughs> oh my God, they're not doing anything to help. Boom, and Sam kills himself. Right. It's true. And, and then I just celebrate. Yeah, Jim just ends yeah. the show and goes home. Jim <laughs> plugs his fucking gigs in Montreal. Yeah. yeah. Let's everybody know he's going to be at the Borgata. And then <laughs> boom. Yeah, I mentioned Chip. Out the door. Yeah. Fucking leave. <laughs> Chip, Chip in Montreal, is that going to work though? Um, I think so. And then he's doing a gig. No. Chip? Not doing a gig in Montreal. Okay. Oh, he's doing a live gig in New York on uh, yeah. September 11th. September 11th. Oh, I haven't announced that. Oh, uh, no? The, oh, the Chip live show is September 11th at the Village Underground. Ticket information will be given out next week on the Chip podcast. September 11th? The, is that the date on purpose? Yes. Yeah. Well, actually, you know, on, that honestly, that was... the date's available with the 5th or the 11th, and the day after Labor Day is a bad day. To do but a the eleventh is not September eleventh is an okay day. At this point, yeah. At this point, it is. Uh, look, I consider this chip September eleventh show our September eleventh. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is our nine eleven for our generation. Right. The guys that were too young to remember what happened. Yeah. Chip should call it the new nine eleven. Mm. Right. Just something that everybody's going to remember. <laughs> and where's it going to be at, by the way? Village Underground. Tickets are not on sale till next week, though. Wow. It's going to be exciting. Did so. you guys? Speaking of exciting. Did you guys watch the big race last night? I'm a part of it. Oh, I think my white people. <laughs> <laughs> We're back. It's getting great again. No, I meant what the... What race? Phelps versus Shark? No. No, I didn't even know this was on, because everything comes on Sunday nights. It's too much for me. Right, no, It's a I night of it. anxiety. Yeah. I can't watch that. It's just too humiliating for Michael Phelps. Well, it was... And the shark. Yeah, the shark's humiliated, too. People, people, were, people were furious. You know... Shark Week has become a bit of a parody of itself. No one cares about it anymore. I'm people, sick of Shark Week. People care about it. Shark Week can eat my Wait, dick. It was in a lane for real. No, that's not. That's oh, that's okay. a fake photo. People got pissed because they had Phelps swim in in shark water, but then they added a shark with CGI next to him. 
Ew. So they already had the time the shark had raced? So Michael Phelps was racing a CGI shark. And there had been all this promotion. Oh, There God. were tweets everywhere. They had been all this promotion that Michael Phelps versus a shark. <laughs> and then <laughs> everybody was tweeting because they expected you put a shark in a pool and it stays <laughs> in its lane and you get to see Michael Phelps and a shark. This not is... this bullshit. How f- Fucking, what is this? Discovery stinks now. Oh, yeah, it's horrible. They used to be really good and yeah, they have just turned into this. But they did it with the guy getting eaten by the snake, swallowed whole. Yep, they did it. They Remember? keep doing these stunts. They're fucking awful. Like a year or two ago for Shark Week, they did the uh, fake real documentary about how they had found mermaids. Oh, yeah, yeah. And they yeah. were really trying to yeah. trick people into thinking yeah. that they're this awful. thing. They, they're now and just Hitler's fucking. Hitler's zombie army. They did something on that. Yeah, but they made it like it was real. It's yeah. clickbait. It's a clickbait on TV. How did the shark, it must be CGI, the shark just did a lane fucking turn and went to the end of the pool <laughs> and that thing where you dive yeah. down and kick off again? Yeah. The shark did win, though, by seconds, but it won. Yeah. Seconds is a lot in swimming. And, and they yeah, said a true. simulated yeah. shark at the end. Yeah. Did they say simulated the whole time or no? Simulated while, Phelps. While it was <laughs> it's not even a real Phelps. While it was happening? Yeah. Yes. While they were advertising it? Yeah. No. And he's got a mermaid's tail. Phelps had a mermaid's tail. They did. They put him in, and they were, and they tried to, because I mean, people on Twitter are going crazy. They got all there's tweets everywhere about, uh, you know, being upset that there was no real shark. So they tried to do damage control, and they said, but Phelps was swimming in shark infested water, so there was real danger there. Oh. Yeah, they said we had divers that were there watching Michael Phelps. You just want him to, to race sure. a shark? Put him in the water. Open the cage, let the shark chase him. Right. <laughs> Let's see if he's quicker than a shark. Yeah, put some chum on his fucking feet. Yeah. Give him a head start. Shark beat him by two seconds. You're right. That is a that that's is a, gigantic. That's, that's huge. Yeah. I guess he's not that good after all. No, he sucks. Can you imagine that? Like winning all those gold medals. You're supposed to be the pride of your country, and the only thing that's left after the Olympics is racing, racing a fake shark. That's you, humiliating. You know, they had Jesse Owens race a fucking horse That's back right. in the it's 40s or something really? like that. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Same fucking gimmick. Oh. But he really raced a horse. Yeah, but but he did 100 yards and the horse did fucking like 500 yards or something. Oh, was it a distance? I yeah. didn't know that. And and, yeah. and who won? Uh, I don't know. Did he do with a horse? Did he? Can we see who won? Yeah. He wants to know if Jesse Owens beat a horse. I'm, I'm wondering <laughs> if he ran 100 yards faster than the horse ran 500. Yeah. Well, they didn't have the technology for CGI horses yet. No. Too bad. Yeah, because otherwise that could have looked really cool. Yeah. And then afterwards, um, and this is the saddest thing at all, Jesse had to take a piss and they wouldn't let him use the restroom. Uh-huh. He had to go down to a stall and pee there. Wow. This was years ago. Yeah, it's a long terrible. time ago. It That's like, terrible. That was the 80s. I mean, it yeah. was a whole fucking... Yeah, you know, that uh, I Love L.A. song had just come out, <laughs> Randy Newman. So, you know. <laughs> uh, there he is. There's Jesse. Uh, racing against a horse. Racing against a horse. Yeah. He won by inches. He won by inches. Who did? It says Jesse Owens. The music is so bad. I mean, the whole exercise is terrible. <laughs> Why is the horse running around the fucking thing? It's so humi- What do you mean? He's racing him. No, but he's ran to cut across. Look how happy he is. That is so dehumanizing. Let's see if you're faster than this animal now. It's also dehumanizing to run in front of Hitler. He had to <laughs> fucking do that. No one ever brings that up. Yeah. He beat Hitler in a fucking race. He didn't get a handshake. Didn't Hitler walk away? Yeah. Hitler, um... They said fucking rubbed his balls and then fucking put a... <laughs> yeah. And he goes like this. Here, shake my ball, my fucking ball sweat. He gave him the stink finger. Yeah. yeah. Jesse Owens, why does my finger smell like Hitler's shit now? Yeah. yeah. That was the first indication that Hitler was rude. Hitler was not fucking nice. No one ever brings that up. Yeah. Hitler was mean to a lot of people. He was but impolite. I, yes. I'll tell you this, though. Devil's advocate. Mm-hmm. He put together a hell of an opening ceremony at the Olympics. Yeah, that is true. A lot of that pomp and circumstance that we celebrate today would not have been around had it not been for Hitler. No one is yeah. saying that Hitler had no good qualities. I'm just yeah. saying he was rude. <laughs> he, was, he was a rude person. Okay. All right. We can now they're on saying, that. didn't they say that he had a tiny fucking hook? Dick too. Yeah. They said that he had this little fucking fish hook of a dick. Little they, micro penis. They think that had him, and it was fucking curved up and around again. And they said that had him pissed off. Yeah. I, th- I, I think, though, that sometimes, I think, and we'll see it over the years, 
Every few years, the newspapers are allowed to just print a terrible story about Hitler. Having a small penis. Yeah, because yeah. who's going to correct him? Who's going who's to say, like, whoa, is the Hitler family going to sue normal. the but newspaper? They- you think his dick was normal size, yeah, average? They're, try- they're just trying to humiliate. <laughs> I'm not going to say a great man. They're just trying to humiliate, um, you know, a fucking guy who's hateable. I heard though, and I read this several places. His fucking ball was so small and had a little hole in it, <laughs> it looked like a Cheerio. Is they that said right? the, the, the kids at school would call him Cheerio with balls, but it was like the German version yeah. of that of Cheerio balls, yeah. tire balls. They didn't yeah. have Cheerios back then. They were little tires. And, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And they wow. forced him when and they they'd, went, they'd holes in him. Yeah, he went to summer camp, and they forced him to put his balls in this little thing of milk. Yeah, and they were like <laughs> breakfast cereal. Right. You know, and he's like one fucking. Day. And I think it was Jewish kids who did it. It was one fucking day. I heard they would call him Honey Nuts Cheerio. That's fucking uh, because nuts. You know yeah. what I mean? Except, like you said, in German. Yeah, in German. In German. In the native language there, but also the other thing about fucking Hitler that no one brings up. Is that he was a lovely painter. Lovely he was. painter. Not right. quite good enough to go professional. That's what fucked him up. It's, it if is. somebody, if I could go back in time and buy Hitler's paintings, perhaps none of this would have happened. You You're know, right. that, that is true. If his, if his, he's, he really was a frustrated artist. I mean, yeah. that's what happened to Charles Manson. He wanted that's to be right. a rock star. Charles Manson wanted to yes. be a, he wanted I to have be a his rock star. Yes. Not good. Garbage, yeah. garbage dump was the big hit <laughs> that he had. <laughs> That's the name of the song. Right. If you could go back in time and kill anybody, who would it be? Hmm. My agent last September. Okay. <laughs> 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 it's still not too late, Jimmy. You can still. What about for you? That's a real tough one. One person. One. You only get to kill one. You only get to do it one time. Because I would love to go back in time and kill Lincoln right before John Wilkes Booth got there just to see the expression on his face. You know, just like, what the fuck? This is right. my thing. Yeah. Right. And I'd be like it. this, little fucking late, Ringo. <laughs> Boom, I'd be gone again. <laughs> and he'd be like, Ringo, what the fuck does that even mean? And then he'd still have to escape, so he'd probably do the same thing. You'd get away with it. Well, you could just say a guy shot him and then disappeared back into the future. <laughs> right. Was that a Hitler painting right there the, right, the on the right? Not that one, that one. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, I'd fucking hang that over my couch today. Well, yeah, but that's because you are know they who the for sale? Is. Yeah. Where yeah. are they? Yeah. Who owns them? Uh, you get, there's a place down at the mall. There's, um, <laughs> the original Hitler's? Yeah. Yeah. I was going to get one. There wasn't enough space. I like getting something big over mm. my couch. Right. You know, and then we have small quite, ones. Yeah. yeah. They yeah. sold for half a million dollars. Yeah. Would you, I mean, I think it would also be thrilling to go back in time and kill Sarah Connor long before <laughs> her son was born. Huh. Yeah. I probably, uh, I probably killed the Night Stalker, Richard Ramirez. Why? That's the one guy? Yeah, he just seemed like he had such an ego about him. You know, he just I don't go, like him. He's killing random people. He's killing right. old ladies. He just thinks that... Focus. Uh, You're like, focus, fucker. Yeah, he just feels like none of the rules apply to him. He ate, yeah. They said he only ate junk food, so his breath stank and his teeth were rotting out. Oh, oh no, Sometimes really? I just mean to say, though. You know, yeah. it's like Hitler's balls. With the, with the Cheerio balls? Yeah. Honey nuts? If I was a serial killer, I'd always take... Uh, a prize from my victim. I would always li- and I would wow. leave. I would leave a calling card. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. what was your, I already know what my. What would your yeah. calling card be? I would probably take off a pinky toe with me. I'd be the pinky toe killer. Wow. You know? And then back at my lair, I'd have a lair, just be a jar of fucking pinky toes. Now, would you at all worry about the fact that if anybody were to get in your lair, no. the jar of pinky toes would be a dead giveaway? That wouldn't even dawn on me. Okay. I would be totally honest. Whether they would smell? Yeah. Well, well, I would just, see, you'd yeah. put it tight, right? Yeah, I would put yeah, it it's tight. It's all to put new toes in. And I would have, uh, what do you put in there? Like Formaldehyde? Yeah, formaldehyde. Uh, I'd have that in there. What about that like Barbasol stuff, that blue stuff that you put the combs in? I don't want to get confused and end up combing my hair with a pinky toe. Oh, that makes sense. Uh, you know what I mean? Because that's happened to me before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, that's and then I would, I'd cut stuff out of the newspaper, make messages out of it, send it to the FBI. Oh, that's smart. But yeah. they'd know who it is, though, because so few yeah. people buy newspapers, yeah. so they'd be able to narrow it down right. by neighborhood. But I would always say, like... Looks like I've been towing the line lately. So, you know what I mean? Like, I put yeah. a lot of toe stuff Little in Little puns? Yeah. Would you send it to newspaper editors? Yeah, I would pick out a guy in the news. Or probably today, a blogger. For oh, your, yeah. For your generation. I'd send it to a blogger. Yeah. And see what they had to do. Let the HuffPo know. Mm. Yeah. 
and just yeah. put, and use the word like put. Uh, I'm going to kill someone else in town, but then capitalize the T O W and the N is lowercase. <laughs> I do like that because then they make them figure it out, make them work for it. You know? Oh, it's a signal. Yeah. Toe. Yeah. <laughs> We know who I sent mean, like, this. I guess you didn't tow that. You know what I mean? Some of this stuff wouldn't be dead on. Where will I be next? Yeah. Oh, I don't tow. <laughs> yeah. Perhaps Taos in Maryland. <laughs> uh, the thing is, <laughs> you gotta you gotta give them something. Yes, of you know? course. I'm not just gonna leave a body behind. Well, you know the irony too, and what your yeah. job would be, how What's they'd it? finally catch you. How's that? You'd be a tow truck driver. That That's would it. be the fucking best. Or I'd show a I'd show a tow then a truck and I just write, imagine what I do for a living. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody need to be towed? I'm the fucking guy to call. Get it? Yeah. You're not worried about the sleuth that would be. You know, here's what would happen: mm-hmm. is the police wouldn't know how to deal with you. It'd be one journalist who used to be like a, a comic strip artist, but just wanted a shot at the newspaper that would just be pining away at all your clues. You He's know, the one that would find you. By the way, I don't know why I love that movie, but I do. Yeah. I will fuck it. What movie? That, uh, it's um, Zodiac. Zodiac. I watch it all the time. Nothing happens in the movie. Nothing. And it's comforting it's somehow. It's three hours long. Yeah. And I, I, I'm with you. I will watch it anytime I have it. Like, like yeah. I love that movie, and you're right. Nothing happens. It's Nothing not even, happens. He doesn't even get like the... The uh, uh, Mark Ruffalo character doesn't even get that crazy or manic. About I don't it. remember that movie. I don't think I saw it. Uh, it's the same guy who made Seven. Oh, and, it's not uh, a true story though. It's not about the Zodiac Killer. Yes, no. it is. Yeah, it is. About oh, it, it is. Oh, okay. that's why nothing happens because in real life they never solve those kind of crimes. Yeah, people just die of old age. <laughs> yeah, because you can't get somebody who isn't like trying to kill their brother-in-law. You know, there's no motive. You know how easy it would be just if you wanted to kill someone and then just. You know, that that's would why, be it. That's why I get Richard Ramirez real early. Yeah, he was a bad guy. No motive. Do you know one of the people he killed, <clears throat> an old lady, I think he had killed her husband, and she had a shotgun under the bed. She pulls the shotgun out, and she points it at him, and he stops, and she pulls the trigger, and it goes, click, because their grandchildren had been over, so her husband had unloaded the gun. So, wow. of course, then he beat her to death with a, probably a lamp or something. It would have been better just to leave a loaded gun around the grandchildren. Or just point it and don't shoot. Just say, get out. Yeah. Get out or I'll kill you. No one's going to say, go ahead, pull the trigger. She probably didn't realize it wasn't loaded. Yeah. She probably Women. wanted to shoot him. Boy, was that... Women. What a sound. Women, huh? <laughs> what a sound. Click. Oh, uh, shoot. Yeah, I'd be out oh, nerds. You try it again. I'm hoping the second one is a bullet. <laughs> oh, shucks. Hold on a second. And you put it in. He's yeah. on you. What, he was a choker, right? That was his thing. No, like bludgeon. He, Bludgeon. Yeah. I don't know if he was a rapist. I don't remember. He would rape. He would. Mm-hmm. Post-mortem? Uh, I think pre-mortem. <laughs> old people. He killed old ladies. Yeah. And he, he beat these two old ladies <laughs> together with a lamp, I think. Gross, right? Yeah. <laughs> he goes, oh. <laughs> I'd have to kill the young. Right. Young and attractive. <laughs> he might have killed some younger people, too. Yeah. But he did have disgusting teeth. Yeah, he'd sneak into people's houses and just kind of hang out. He would always tuck his um, pants into his socks, yep. too, so he didn't get them caught. Nerd. <laughs> oh, <I> mean, <laughs> that's a fucking nerd bite.